To help prepare for this Bayer Bedbug Seminar, I did my own survey from 10 companies around the United States that I knew did many bed bug jobs. And most of them are personal friends, and so we could chat one-on-one. -on -one. And I wanted to know not how much money they got for the bed bug job. I wanted to know what was your percent failure. Blew me away. The average was better than 20% failure. And these were top companies. I said, well, maybe they only did the job, went in one time. No, they all did it two and most three times. Maybe they misidentified the pest. They verify, and that's important, to verify that it is bed bugs before they did the job. So then I said, okay, look, how did you mess up? What, what was wrong? One fella tells me the story and it's absolutely incredible. The best technician, he's been back five times, they cannot get control, so they bring two or three honchos and they go there and they communicating with this customer, he's sitting at the edge of the bed and they're talking to him, and after about 20 minutes or so, he's at the edge of the bed, he pulls up his pants and he unscrews his leg, he has a prosthesis. Inside the leg were thousands of live bed bugs hiding in the cracks and under the felt. He was taking them to work with him every day. Remember, I told you this is a very successful parasite. I don't care how many books you look at, you're not going to read that. Another thing that was a common mistake was missing under the carpeting. We need the needle nose pliers to pull that up, particularly around by the headboards in the closet. Now, in talking to each company and just saying, uh, well, what else do you want to tell me about bed bugs? Every single one, and they didn't know the other one I talked to, said, we took at least one job. We're sorry we took it. We're losing our shirt. And I said, okay, could you tell me why? And it was one of two reasons. Either there was excessive clutter in the place, so they couldn't even move things around the first time at all, or there was so bad, the neighborhood, there was no way they could control it in two or three or five or six or ten times. They had to put those locations on a contract, and they learned from that, that from now on, you have to assess it. The technician going to the job needs to look and say, woo. This is going to call for initial clean out. We'll be here so many times. And after that, in order to get successful control, we're going to have to come on an ongoing basis. What that ongoing basis is going to depend on the pressures of the population, the people bringing in the bed bugs. But these are important, important things to understand. I mean, I, I popcorn on a, on a ceiling of a building, every little, crack in there had to be treated. If there's tongue and groove in the bedroom or the paneling, you're going to be there for a long time. And that was another mistake many of them made. They only scheduled 20 minutes, a half hour initially, and learned it takes about two men, two technicians, two hours to do a comprehensive job inside a given structure. And where are the bed bugs? Everywhere. So now, listen to this story. This one company, they got it down, man, no bed bugs. And then all of a sudden they get this account and it's not working. And one of the things you recommend is to take the clothes to the laundromat, get them cleaned, put them in hot water, and then in a hot dryer. Well, here's where they messed up. The person would go and put all their clothes in the bag, go to the laundromat, dump it out, put it in the washer and then the dryer, and then they were finished, they would put it back in the same bag and bring it back again. Not too bright. However, unless you tell the customer that, again, customer communication, you want two bags. One to bring the clothes there, the second one to put in a new bag to take back. 
And you can also take the slipper that I showed you before and that type of items to be heated. We learn every day. We're in, I'll call it a development stage like this, learning how to control bed bugs. But this presentation is bringing you the latest and the state of the art of what we know.